The Island of Patmos, John's Exile and the Birth of Revelation. The Aegean Sea holds many treasures, both ancient ruins and islands of stunning natural beauty. But amidst this splendor lies a small, rugged island that holds profound significance for the Christian faith, Patmos. This is the place where, according to tradition, the Apostle John was exiled during a period of Roman persecution and where he received the breathtaking visions that became the Book of Revelation. John of Patmos The identity of John of Patmos, the author of Revelation, has been debated for centuries. Early Christian tradition strongly asserts that this John was none other than John the Apostle, one of the twelve original disciples of Jesus, the son of Zebedee, and author of the Gospel of John and several epistles. This view is supported by similarities in language and apocalyptic themes between Revelation and the Johannine writings. Some suggest a different Jewish Christian author influenced by apocalyptic traditions. Nonetheless, regardless of a specific name, John of Patmos was undoubtedly an influential figure in the early Christian community, deeply committed to his faith. Exile on Patmos The book of Revelation itself sheds light on John's circumstances. He writes, I, John, your brother and companion in the suffering and kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Revelation 1 9, NIV. Historians believe this exile likely occurred during the reign of the Roman Emperor Domitian, 81 96 AD, known for persecuting Christians. Patmos, a relatively isolated island, would have been an ideal place to banish dissidents and those deemed a threat to the Roman Empire. The Cave of the Apocalypse Tradition holds that John's divine revelations occurred within a cave on Patmos. Today, this sacred site is known as the Cave of the Apocalypse and is a key pilgrimage destination. The cave itself is simple, marked by an icon depicting John receiving his visions. Within the cave, visitors can see the supposed rock where John rested his head and the fissure through which the voice of God is said to have spoken. The Book of Revelation The Book of Revelation, also known as the Apocalypse of John, is a complex and often enigmatic work of prophecy and symbolism. Filled with vivid imagery of angels, beasts, plagues, and cosmic battles, it paints a picture of the end times, the struggle between good and evil, and the ultimate triumph of Christ. Revelation's message was one of both urgency and hope. It warned the early Christians of impending tribulations and the need for steadfastness. At the same time, it offered a vision of God's ultimate sovereignty and the promise of a new heaven and a new earth. The Legacy of Patmos It was in a place of exile and hardship that John received some of the most profound visions in Christian history. His work continues to fascinate, challenge, and inspire readers throughout the centuries. The Monastery of St. John the Theologian, founded in 1088, dominates the island's hilltop town of Chora. This impressive monastery, with its fortress-like appearance, holds a vast collection of manuscripts, icons, and religious artifacts, demonstrating the enduring significance of Patmos as a center of Christian spirituality. Visiting Patmos For those interested in retracing John's steps, Patmos is accessible by ferry from other islands in the Dodecanese group or the Turkish mainland. Visitors can explore the Cave of the Apocalypse, the Monastery of St. John the Theologian, and the charming town of Chora with its whitewashed houses and winding alleys. Patmos provides an opportunity to step back in time and reflect on the origins of one of Christianity's most enigmatic and influential texts.